So my name is Dan Schechtman. I am a distinguished professor of the Technion in Haifa, Israel. I am a, a laureate of a Nobel Prize in Chemistry 2011 for the discovery of quasi-periodic crystals. Before that, the definition of a crystal was a crystal is a material in which atoms are ordered and periodic. Period. If you want to understand periodicity, uh, look at tiles on the floor. If they are squares, then in each and every direction that you point, you see that the tile repeats themselves exactly the same way. This is a two-dimensional periodicity. Quasi-periodicity is more complex. It appears in nature in a more complex way, such as spirals that we find in uh, pine cones and uh, shells of certain sea lives. So let's talk about quasi-periodicity in two dimensions, and uh, the perfect example are Penrose tiles. And you can tile the floor with Penrose tile. You can do it uh, quasi-periodically if you follow certain matching rules. And there will be no gaps, and everything will, will be fitted uh, properly. So two-dimensional Penrose, three-dimensional are quasi-periodic crystals. So the year was 1980. Two. And uh, after lunch, I put aluminum 25 manganese into the microscope and started to look at it. When I first saw the uh, diffraction pattern with 10 fold rotation symmetry, I said, I looked at it and said in Hebrew, Ein Hayakazo. It means in English, there ain't no such animal. This discovery was a paradigm shift in crystallography created a new definition of what is a crystal. So today um, we have uh, many, many crystals who have three-dimensional quasi-periodicity, hundreds of them in fact. It's quite surprising that they were not discovered before. We all want to make sure that our food is safe, but doing that can be really hard. Looking for contaminants in raw materials is tough. The statistics are stacked against us. Today, we can only test for pathogens individually, one sample at a time. And that means hundreds, if not thousands of tests, most of which deliver a simple negative result. We needed to think about this differently. That's why Mars and IBM joined forces, to sequence the genomes of all the organisms in the food supply chain. That's millions of organisms, but big data is what IBM is good at. The DNA and RNA sequences show you all the harmless bacteria that are found in normal, safe food. If we do the test and the microorganisms are suddenly different, something's up. The organisms have changed because the environment has changed it could be contaminated. And not only that, this tells us things that we never could have seen before, like where the food was grown, how it was transported, and maybe even what happened en route. Our approach to food safety just got a lot smarter. 